Welcome to a moving in day of my Catlia Gyra Cosmos. It's going to go into a pot. <laughs> well, I am a little bit hesitant and apprehensive about getting this orchid off this mount. I don't want to break the mount because I find it very interesting and I might just use it again for something else. But you see these beautiful roots? Hmm. Yeah, they're already being stressed out because I've had it in this container and in the process of emptying the water out, transitioning the roots to something a little bit more water retentive, they have gotten bruised and the older roots have died back. So whew, it's going to be a fiddle, but there's only one way to get this done, and that is to get it done. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. If I go a little bit quiet, it's because I'm really concentrating. <laughs> oh, deep breath and slow down the heart rate. I want this orchid in a Lekka and self-watering setup. And I have already worked with the roots to such a degree. Oh, that was easy. Whoop, that was the easy part. To such a degree that they are very accustomed to a wet environment. And we have a branching root right here. That is good to take note of. This root system has the capacity to branch. So this root here is dead but up there it's alive. Okay, uh, wire. There is a wire. Hmm, trying to get the pliers in there. Let's remove some of the debris that we can get rid of. As you can tell, <laughs> so uh, loath to get into this and make a big mistake and break a root that I'm not getting into the main body of it just yet. <laughs> <laughs> plucking up my courage, plucking up my courage by doing something menial. <laughs> my excuse, it gives me a better line of vision. <clears throat> right, now the roots have dried out. I wonder if I should get my sprayer. I'll be right back. I'm going to get my sprayer. That was a silly omission on my part. Bad prep work. Let's give these roots a spray. It's not like they're attached. Maybe this root tip right here is attached. But still. <laughs> oh. Did I say something about slowing down the heart rate? Yeah, so far it's not working. Just slow down. I will tell you timestamps are in the description. <laughs> That's my excuse. In case you don't want to watch me freak out, struggle through this when it comes time to pot her up because she's going to come off one way or another. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you. <laughs> today. Get every impediment out of the way. Ooh, deep breath. Here we go. Wouldn't it be lovely if I could just shake her now <laughs> and take her out? Okay, next step. I'm gonna cut the wire. If my clumsy pliers can get in there. I 
feel like a chameleon right now. Looking left, right, back and front. I don't want to bash this root tip. Come on, you can do this. Okay. Will you just lift out? A steady lean too. This plastic is also quite tough, so it's not like if I wanted to cut into it that it's going to be easy to cut and break. It's really heavy duty stuff. I also have a new growth I'm paying attention to on the other side. <laughs> Excuse the change in cadence. Oh, you know what's going to be a problem? These two right here. That's a chubby connection there to get through that hole. You see that new growth right here? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> when nervous I laugh which also poses for some awkward situations oh gosh I've got this far can you see what's gonna come up here can you see that that is not going to feed through The rest of her is. Oh boy. <clears throat> now what? How do I break this? Wait a second, wait a second. I have the option of cutting into there. It's alive, I don't want it to be too short. But the root tip, huh. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we did it. We did it. Do I still have my new growth? Here's one. 
Where's the new, new growth? Like the really teeny tiny one. Where'd you go? Please don't tell me. There you are. Teeny tiny new growth. Oh, we did it. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. She's going to go into her pot. Oh, that wire. Hang on a second. <laughs> Such a relief. I forgot the wire. Of course, it is growing through several roots as well. Of course. I wonder if I kink the root right here. See, there's a tiny little root in there. I may have kinked it at the base. Well, I think we've managed to salvage the majority of what I needed to get out. Let's get her in a pot. Oh, goodness me. Let's see if I filled up too much lecker. Let's give it a goo first. No more root tip bashing, come on. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm messing around too much with the roots. I don't like the abrasion already happening as I'm trying to get her in. Filling up with Lekka is much, much better than trying to be persistent about now doing it without removing the Lekka. So that's what we're going to do. Just take out enough that the roots have space to get in, but also that my loop is still intact with Lekka underneath. I doubt that this orchid is going to require a loop. I have a feeling just by looking at those roots, that they are going to be happy as Larry or as snug as a bug in a rug in this setup going down and down. Okay, now we've got the water in, making it as gentle as possible. Let's get our orchid inside as well. She's going straight into the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my tag in straight away as well just so that I don't start jiggling around root tips that I can't see once the lacquer is inside. The reason I'm putting her in the middle is she's got two directions of growth already. Get her down to the level that I want and fill her up.
Okay, that's her drained out. I've got the reservoir a lot higher than I normally would with an established orchid. The pot is going to rest on the water, drawing up more moisture into the root system because I want to keep that root system going down, encouraging it to go down. We've covered all the root tips. The roots have been pre-transitioned, which was a bare root transition, pretty straightforward. But I have a video, which I will link in the description, explaining how I transitioned this orchid while she was still on the mount so that she would take to a very water retentive media very, very quickly, even though the old roots had died off because of the transition. So what's going on now is that she's just being put into a setup, highly water retentive, something that these roots and the velamen of these roots are accustomed to, and now she should just rock and roll. And I'm not putting any fertilizer or anything into this pot for the next week, 10 days, until it is fully absorbed, because she had all of that in the pre-transition care. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, deep breath. I was really tense for this one. Ah, oh, but she's done. Catlia gyra cosmos is in her pot and can now just grow and hopefully bloom for us one day. Beautiful white blooms with purple, deep purple spotting. Very simple, but probably very effective if the pictures are anything to go by. So I appreciate you watching me fiddle. I apologize for the lengths and the stints of silence. Sometimes multitasking isn't my forte. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition though, that you please stay safe and take care. Bye.